and come in the studio. All right. We're going now again on the attorney Michael Troiano newsmaker line and bringing in uh, a great, great reporter here in town, covers the Raiders issue, especially around the stadium and all things transportation in the area. And that, of course, is Mick Akers. Uh, and Mick, this week, lots happening in, in Raiderdom when you look at uh, Las Vegas and the relocation, the stadium construction. And of course, coming up here in April, not too far away, is the NFL draft. And uh, you wrote a story about the draft and how it would close the Las Vegas Strip for three days. What's the latest, um, uh, Mick, on the draft and where it will be held here in Las Vegas? Yeah, so um, latest is they've been trying to get the stage over the Bellagio for a while. So it looks like the dream scenario that they've been you know, <laughs> picking at for a while is going to come true here. They're supposed to – NFL and Raiders are supposed to be at the – County Commission meeting on Tuesday to uh, kind of present their plan there. And um, so it looks like they have the stage over the Bellagio. That's the main focal point is what I was told by the source. And then the Caesars Forum, the new um, convention center they're building that opens up next in uh, March, uh, is going to be like a secondary site. So they, you know, they weren't exactly sure on specifics. So I was trying to see, hey, maybe is it day one they're going to be at Bellagio and then the rest of the, you know, two days they're going to be at Caesars Forum. They said that you know it could be likely, but they they didn't want to, they didn't want to confirm that with me. So you know I, I went with you know focal points are hey, Bellagio, Caesar's Forum, and then the fan experience is supposed to be somewhere around Flamingo and Coval by the West End there. I think maybe that that road lead, leading up to the Caesar's Forum and you know the link and all that. I think it might be the the site where like the the fan area is going to be with the the, the draft town and all that. Yeah, Mick, I know I know you and I were hearing, and we talked to several months ago about it. Uh, after our trip to London, I mentioned earlier, we had talked to some folks with the NFL who who had kind of confirmed that the desire for the Bellagio Fountains, they were having an issue with actually fiber and getting internet out there, obviously for broadcasts and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it sounds like they might have some way to do that. And then, of course, as you talked about that fan area, I mean, it sort of sounds like Flamingo and the strip obviously be closed and then maybe Flamingo all the way down past Coval so that they can have all that fan experience area. And, and I, it's funny to me though, because I see, I understand if you're not a football fan, you're not a football fan. There are people out there who don't like football. I get it. I'm cool with it. But when you talk about this closure, I know it would be unprecedented for the area because we do it on new year's eve we do it for marathons we do it all that kind of stuff but to do it for three days that we know of but then the prep time before that might require them to close it even longer i get the inconvenience part of it but mick this is a huge huge commercial for for tourism and and gaming and everything for las vegas and not only that but the financial impact is massive is it not yeah so they're, you know, they rent, they mentioned about 400,000 people expected. I know Nashville, I think they had 600,000. So I'm not sure where the where that drop comes from, but that, I was told 400,000. But obviously, three days closing the strip down, you know, basically from Harmon to Spring Mountain, you know, pretty big closure, all that. There are talks about maybe doing some reopenings overnight, you know, maybe just a couple lanes. I know they're going to close it down at least for two weeks on – in front of the Bellagio, down the two lanes on the strip. So, you know, pretty big impact. But, you know, we have this many people coming for this many days. You know, it's, it's they're going to kind of deal with it. I think uh, they said it's, you know, going to be the largest closure of the strip ever. But, you know, with so many people coming to town, you know, I think, you know, obviously the rooms are going to be filled up. People are going to be, you know, eating, drinking, having a good time, you know, all these three days, maybe in a couple of days before that and after it. So, uh, you know, they're just looking at this as a big, you know, financial impact here for Vegas. Again, we're talking to Mick Akers, a reporter for the Las Vegas Review-Journal, on our attorney Michael Troiano newsmaker line about the draft uh, coming to Las Vegas. We appreciate that update, Mick. Make sure you read. He just did a story um, a few days ago on this, um, and so check that out on the Review-Journal. Also, Mick, you were at the...